This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, June 11th. I'm James Spann, watching pretty nasty line of storms north and west of here that we might be dealing with tonight. Let's check some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. We'll start down at Gulf Shores, and thank goodness it's not raining now. Uh, they've had uh, tremendous rains over the weekend and earlier today, but things are calm for the moment. If you're beachbound, uh, weather down there should be much better later this week. Yes, there'll be a few showers around, but uh, nothing like the uh, weekend deluges they had. There's the Tuscaloosa sky cam. Sky mostly cloudy there. A few intervals of sunshine today. And from Trustville, it's cloudy. That's northeast of Birmingham, right on Chalkville Mountain Road. Temperatures all over the board today. We have only 75 at Gadsden. Uh, with showers around, but you go to the west in Tuscaloosa, they've managed some sunshine. They've got 87 over there, so a 12-degree spread. But no doubt, temperatures will be trending warmer in coming days. There is the radar locally at 243, and you can see it's a classic case of scattered showers, kind of like the radar has the measles. But, ooh, look at this. Same hour, 243. At that point, that MCS, Mesoscale Convective System, was blowing into West Tennessee, and there is high potential for damaging straight-line winds on that line. And I do expect it to carry down into northwest Alabama later this afternoon. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 o'clock tonight for the northwestern corner of the state. It's basically Franklin, Colbert, and Lauderdale counties, and if that line holds together, a new watch could be required farther south and east. There is high potential for damaging straight-line winds along that, so... Uh, pay attention to severe thunderstorm warnings, especially up in the Tennessee Valley, if they are needed. Uh, now, that's the risk at midday. Uh, the slight risk barely clips Alabama. I do uh, do believe they moved it a little farther uh, east on the update that's coming in as I'm doing this video here, which makes sense. And again, at the moment, the higher wind damage probabilities are centered near Memphis. But again, those could be shifted over farther east with time as that MCS is showing no signs of weakening. And then tomorrow, the risk is over much of north and central Texas, up toward the western high plains. And the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. The amounts are heaviest down in the southeastern corner around Dothan, about two inches there. The amounts over the Tennessee Valley, more like uh, one half inch. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Of course, most of the main wave action is to the north. We've still got a northerly flow aloft here in the cold front. Uh, being propelled by that deep trough well to the north of here is nearing Memphis tomorrow. So we're still in very soupy air. Dew points up in, in the low 70s, very muggy. And no doubt there'll be at least scattered storms around, maybe numerous tomorrow. And with dew points up in the low 70s, the air is going to be fairly unstable. So the storms tomorrow where they form could pack a punch. So be aware of that. And we'll watch those. And then Wednesday, drier air creeps into North Alabama. Heat levels come up a little bit. Highs around 90 with a pretty decent amount of sun. Uh, same thing Thursday and really the same thing Friday. And understand, yes, there could be a shower somewhere each day. But we think this should be fairly widely spaced. Uh, the GFS has Thursday as the hottest day at 92. Friday, the high backs down to 87. And then as we start the weekend on Saturday, upper high centered over Kansas City. And we have a northerly flow aloft on the eastern flank of that thing. And that looks pretty dry. Saturday should be a pretty decent day. Pretty decent amount of sunshine mid to upper 70s. And Sunday looks dry if this is right. Uh, the GFS showing 85 with a good supply of sunshine. So the weekend for now looks pretty quiet and mostly dry. And a week from today, same thing. Not much happening there. We'll check the end of the forecast, June 27th. Big upper low over upstate New York, uh, trough over the east. And uh, if that's right, be nice and cool up there. And down this way, maybe a few showers, but nothing extraordinary. And again, the good news, no sign of any really nasty heat for us over the next 10 to 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget... To catch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or on the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.